I'm Basil Dernan. I'm from Macquarie Franklin, which is an agricultural consulting firm based out of Tasmania. Uh, and my role in that firm is primarily with uh, primary producers on farm, um, dealing with business management and technical issues. I'm um, addressing the farm business updates, um, primarily from a profit perspective uh, and looking at the link between business performance uh, the key performance indicators in the business and the skill development of the individual farm business manager. One of the different approaches we take I think is that um, we're very interested in creating non-dependency based models which basically means that as a consulting business or a consulting individual we try to pass skills on to our clients. Most of the information around comparative analysis probably suggests that uh, you can do reasonably well by copying what the best do but the systems that we're dealing with are pretty complex um, and they're set in an environment that's really dynamic and it's quite leaky. Uh, so it actually, in terms of business management, requires an exceptional level of, of skill development. Uh, so we actually go in behind the key performance indicators and say, if you want to move that indicator, what skill do you require? And then we'll encourage the business managers to undertake skill development in those areas. So. Primarily for the, for the cropping farmers, that's around agronomic skill development, um, rather than just having that, that uh, skill purchased into the business through an agronomist, we'd encourage them to learn as much as they can to have better conversations with the agronomist and make more timely and better uh, ultimately business decisions around that information. In terms of um, going about determining what skills you require, basically that comes out of the benchmarking program where, you, where there'll be a weakness in one of the key performance indicators. The next step is how complex is the skill development in that space and generally we look at, you know, if it's a simple problem it might be just attending a discussion group or a one day workshop. More commonly though it is quite difficult to rapidly increase skill development. If you think about it in terms of a footballer, to learn to catch and kick is not so difficult, but to be able to do it effectively on game day, under game day pressure is quite a bit harder. So we generally use what's called a supported learning model, which means that we introduce the theory and then we have 12 to 24 months of opportunity to practice that skill with other farmers over the course of a season to be able to implement the, pr the basic principles and then see the outcome. If you want to quickly analyse your business, if you set up uh, a simple input output um, cash based budget and look at just varying the price by 20 or 30 percent, that'll give you a very good indication as to how robust the business is. Um, so most of the shocks, whether they're seasonal or climatic or, um, or anything else price related, ultimately look like a drop in, in product price um, as far as the business is concerned. So it's a pretty simple procedure. Um, the complex part is then how do you go about creating more robustness in the business.